Hey everyone, welcome back to episode of Music Monday. We're trying to talk about new music, album releases, or a music topic. And today we're taking a look at what I thought was a debut album from The Letter Black. Apparently they're a band that's around since 20, 2006. So we're going to go and talk about it. Their new debut album, The Letter Black, which I, which I got misinformed that I thought it was a debut album. I, it's weird when bands do that, why they don't make that their first album, or why would you make it that, like, I, I don't know, why would you make your band name, your album name for your, like, sixth album, or fifth album, not your, I don't know, but I uh, actually do get the reasoning, as they kind of came back, uh, the last album was released in 2016, uh, and then they came back during COVID with uh, a new album. And I think that's all in small part to Anthony, the essential power couple of the letter black, Matt Beal and Will Fowler, as they all came together for this new album. And I think COVID just really invigorated them to create this new album. Thus, the title of the letter black. Uh, as, as Sarah went and said, talking about this album, it's about confidence, not arrogance. We're finally comfortable to know who we are. We're, we've are we become better songwriters. We're settled in the band and a life in general, which I think is really cool as they took this time to craft a good album. And as, when I first listened to this, uh, again, right for the review, I, I was like, this is really radio safe, um, which is not the case as it is a really great album. Usually at this point, I go over some Amazon reviews before I kind of talk my couple of songs. There's only 10 songs on this album, and there are no Amazon reviews. So please go to Amazon or whatever uh, music platform you are on and write a review. I'll put one on there, as I usually do. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but as I said, we talked about the whole album. Uh, Rise has one of my least favorite things in a music album in that is synth, but it really works as it uh, co uh, compliments the drums, the guitars, and the vocals by Sarah, and the backup vocals as well. It's just a simple song about rising up um, out of a present predicament. Uh, one more time is a song about trying one more time and succeeding. It's probably my favorite song on the album. I, I just really like how the whole song plays out. Uh, Drowning featuring Blake White. Uh, has this rap verse in it, which some people is cringe and they don't like in their metal and rock. Uh, to me, I do enjoy it. It works very well. And if you want to go find some great uh, rap metal songs, please go check out uh, One More Night's uh, cover of Clouds by NF. It's actually really cool. I'll put a card here. Uh, it's like about stuff bogging us down. We're just finding a ray of sunshine in Jesus. It's really great. Kiss, and De Kiss of Death. Again, probably one of my very favorite songs is how our relationship was and how again has me backtracking on this being a radio safe album as this is a very deep song uh and it really feels like it, this should have came uh before tomorrow as they kind of go together it's really it's a really neat song uh yeah and tomorrow is just about falling today or not falling today or tomorrow keep getting up and keep going. Uh, letting go it was a great follow up to Kiss of Death. Or, or sorry, Letting Go should be the follow up, not tomorrow. I'm sorry, got my script all. That was why you read your script beforehand. But it's a great follow up uh, on Letting Go um, of Thoughts We Have. Unbreakable has a very The Vespers vibe. Please, please go check out that album. That's actually a decent album. I might talk about it one day. I actually really enjoy that album. And a song about a big break bowl. That's about it. Um, I think it was the first time I heard where I was like, yeah, this is very radio, very, uh, radio safe. But it's not. Please go check it out. Link is down in the description for the Spotify link. Uh, lost Remembered is about being lost, but remembered. It feels like a song from the heart as the last album was 2016. As to some bands, that's beneficial as they work hard on a new album. Or it's very digital because I don't think at any point they were touring at during any of this. I may be wrong. But throwing darts is about those who slander uh, someone and keep going, or it also be about double throwing darts. 
Uh, I really enjoy this song as well. This is a song featuring Trevor McNiven from Thousand Foot Crunch, talking about Galvin Goes Purpose and We're Born for Great Things. Uh, the next song I did here, and I was like, yeah, okay, I, that's still kind of what I feel about it. It's an okay song, um, but pretty decent. I get really Evanescent vibes from this band, um, which I think they could be the next Evanescence. Um, it's also really taking the place of Icon for Hire as well, just with their uh, lineup and how they sound, as uh, Icon for Hire has kind of fallen from being a Christian band. A video I will make, especially with the new Under Oath album coming out in January, and some of the songs have been released. Um, so stay tuned for that, whenever that comes out. So, yeah. It's, it's a great album. Totally worth a listen. Totally worth it. Um, I can't wait to hear more from it. I can't wait. I'm going to go back and listen to some previous albums. And now we're going to end this video as my nose is just running and I need to go blow my nose. So... <laughs> Some are dead.